Hey everybody, welcome back to Ham Taro Ham and Heartbreak, and we just got our tenth rescued love. Or not rescued love. I can't count, give me a minute. Yep. Yeah, at first time I did not see this coming, I was like, uh <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy. I really do. But anyways, we got Jam out. Which is pretty cool. I just like like the rippling effects at the end. So let's head back to Boo Mansion. Uh sorry about the abrupt ending in the last episode. I wasn't paying attention to my time. Alright, so now we're truly at Boo Manor. Now, over here is the boutique ham where you can buy a silk hat for 10 seeds, rubber nose for 3, wedding dress for 20, fan for 3, and an astro suit for 20. Don't ask what an astro suit is because I don't know. Yep, that's what you said last time. This is how we can get into those rooms. It's a ripped note. Let's see what it says because we're just nosy like that. You got a journal page! Yeah, that joke's getting old fast. Found some strange things. Yes, yeah, strange. I know, I can't believe we can't write to the end of the box. That would just be stupid. Uh, I mean, run in front of one mirror and... That's all we could read of the journal page. Is the mirror he was talking about in this room? Okay, there's four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight mirrors. Something tells me it may be in this room. However, unfortunately, we can't do anything with it right now. We'll be back. Because we need a ham chat that is just just weird. So, um, ooh, there's a crack in the wall. Zelda logic tells me that there must be something behind it. We'll be back later for that. Hey, hey, that looks so vicious. Oh, but so does that. Hey, hey, are you listening? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you're not listening at all. You know, you never really listen to me at all. I am listening. Gee, relax a bit, will you? Sounds like my parents. Uh, eh, anyway. Might not say that because they can probably heal me, hear me. Anyways, let's use Thumpy on this guy. It, like, kind of passes out. Don't scare me like that, I gotta... Blink, blink, dot, dot, dot. Weirdest ham chat in the game, I swear. Yeah. We're gonna use this the one time we need it and never use it again. Actually, there is a pretty funny line of dialogue. If you go into the... Uh, sticky note game at Funland and use that ham chat you actually get some funny line of dialogue but I'm not gonna do it just because I wanna forget this ham chat exists so let's head back to the room with all the mirrors and let's go up now if you run in front of these mirrors you notice how we're like crouching and we're not here Let's use our new ham chap that I refuse to say. That fake ham taro disappeared into the depths of the mirror. I wonder if it leads to someplace else. It's a mirror. You can't go into the mirror. My world has just come crashing down around me. What's the big idea? Don't scare ghosts. Ah, want this, do you? If you want it, try to defeat me. What you want to do is use sticky on this guy. And what I do is usually just like stay in one place like right here. And if he appears somewhere else, because if you get there too late, you're going to stick him when he's like that. And it won't do anything. So I just usually stay in one area and wait for him to appear. you got to hit him three times. Classic Nintendo boss logic. Because believe it or not, this game is actually licensed by Nintendo. Uh, he's on the complete other side, so. Um... Uh, Sticky. And we win. 
Take that, my good sir. I've been beaten. Yeah. So let's sniff the card and pick it up. You got a silver card. So let's sniff and pick up the board. And use put put because we obviously can't just jump over that. That would be too obvious. And off, doff it. Not that you stupid head. There we go. And there we go. Um, so, uh, this guy's here now. Uh, however, nothing really important we need to talk to. Let's use hand lift here. And use our silver key card. To open the door. You have to have hand lift, so. Hey! It's Dexter and Handy. Handy's pretty cool. And Dexter's just weird. And the sad thing is it actually reminds me of somebody I know. Anyways. Personal life aside. This is what I like about this guy. He doesn't talk in proper English. He actually drops his G's off. Most words like listening. So... Anyway, so they're competing to try and impress Pashmina. I actually like that guy because he talks like most people where I live talk. Except we usually have an A in front of about. <laughs> Anyways. We got Ham's Bar. Which is basically, we're just standing somewhere and this huge, gigantic freaking flame goes up behind us. I wonder how we don't burn down the building or something like that. Anyways, there goes Dexter and Handy. Oh, ha Howdy. I've been, I've been saying Handy the entire time. If you just heard a thud, that would be me face palming. I've been calling him Handy. Whatever. So in here is this fireplace where you can use Ham's Bar. Don't ask how it doesn't set the entire building on fire. There's a fire in the fireplace. Heart. I don't know. Anyway, so you want to talk to one of these hamsters. Just one of them. Don't have to talk to the other. What's this? How dare you come here as a couple? You know how I feel. I know Pokey. No Pookie, all of them. How many times do I have to say it? I have never talked to you before in my life. One thing about this is the dialogue isn't as perfect as it could be. Sorry about that. I got interrupted again. It's like four freaking times. Okay. So, after we got that, we go over here. Uh, nothing here yet. We'll be back here later for something uh, rather important. So, this cat's eyes stare at Folly. Let's use ham lift. I can't remember what that does. The yeah, eyes. I think they're following me. Yep, they are. So, let's go up here. Hi. Wait, I mean, I'm a ghost, you shall not pass. Well, I feel like I want to pass, so... Hey, that's not very nice. I'm a giant ghost, you've made me angry. Too late to say you're sorry now, but I'm like this, only fire can defeat me. Just like a classic boss tells you how to beat him. Ah, oh, Nintendo. Yipes, I've been beaten. Now, don't ask me 
how Dexter got in here. Because I don't know. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I walked around like that. Well, it's because of that. Oh, ha! Did it again. You know, that's exactly how Howdy disappeared as well. Hmm? Speak up. I guess I should have said something sooner. Yes, you should have you it. So, oh, MG, we're controlling Bijou. That's new. So, anyways, uh, oops, didn't mean to go that way. Dot dot dot. So we gotta head back downstairs to the room with the two freaky hamsters in it. So here we are. Now you have to be just bees you to be able to learn these two ham chats. If you have ham taro, you just get uh, no pookie. So oh, I didn't mean to do that. Tack you. You make fun of your just really tack you me. This poop of art new friendship. Would you knock knock on my shoulders? New ham trap. So what, Bijou lost her vocabulary too? Oh well, whatever. So there we go, we learned knock knock. And this guy. If you actually use knock knock on his shoulders, he'll just disappear with a lot of dialogue. Like, no, I don't want to go yet, or something like that. So, we're at 60 out of 86, just 26 more to go. Alright, so, let's leave. Can't go that way yet. Uh, actually, make up your mind. Ah, Dexter isn't actually here. Uh, I'll show that off in a minute. Sorry, I just stopped there. My nose was itching. So we gotta head back upstairs. Oh, wait, no, we don't. Bakonk, bakonk. Eh? What a strange sound. So now we use pushy, and we have an opening. Howdy and Hamtaro, trapped in a cage. Well, if it ain't Bijou, you found us. Get us out of here, okay? Hurry up now. Hamtaro's like taking a nap or something. Oh, Hamtaro? He dropped in from nowhere and fell on me. He scared me to death. He's been lying there ever since. I guess I'll check on him. Yeah, you guess. That's our protagonist there. There we go. You're our silent protagonist. Just like Link. <laughs> yep. So, uh... You can't do anything here. But... Now we have to go back upstairs. Uh... Gotta pause and check something. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here, and there's still nothing here. But, uh, I know that Dexter's there at some point. So, whatever. So, we're gonna head, uh, see it. Well, I'm probably not gonna see it, so I'm just gonna explain it. Uh, in there is actually a rope, and so Dexter does it and tries to go down there. So we can get how but he gets trapped in the coffin. So, uh, that's it for this episode, because we're running out of time. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time when hopefully we regain control of Famtaro. See you guys later.